former President Donald Trump has publicly criticized one of his own lawyers over the advice he received regarding the civil sexual assault case brought against him by writer E. Jean Carroll. The case, which concluded in May, saw a New York jury finding Trump liable for sexually abusing Carroll in the mid-1990s at the Bergdorf Goodman department store and defaming her character once the accusation became public. Trump was ordered to pay $5 million in compensation and punitive damages. The ex-pres took to Truth Social to target Reid Hoffman, the co-founder of LinkedIn, while also taking the opportunity to rant about the Carroll case, writing, This disgusting slob, a Democrat political operative, is the same guy who funded a woman who I knew absolutely nothing about, sued me for rape, for which I was found not guilty. She didn't remember the year, decade, or much else. In interviews she said some amazingly inconsistent things. Disgraceful trial, very unfair. I was asked by my lawyer not to attend, it was beneath me, and they have no case. That was not good advice. Trump targeted Hoffman after he recently donated $250,000 to a super PAC supporting Trump's primary opponent and Republican presidential contender Nikki Haley. Hoffman, who has previously made significant financial contributions to the Democratic Party, donated to SFA Fund Incorporated after Haley had a strong performance in the third Republican debate. The 77-year-old former president shared screenshots from a New York Times article about Hoffman's support for Haley. Trump continues to deny the allegations against him, emphasizing that he had no knowledge of Carroll prior to the lawsuit despite conflicting testimonies in court during the trial. It remains unclear which lawyer Trump was referring to in his Truth Social post, as he employs a range of legal representation for his various legal disputes, including four upcoming criminal trials. As OK previously reported, in September, New York Judge Lewis Kaplan determined that Trump had defamed Carroll in a separate lawsuit stemming from his response to her initial public accusation in mid-2019. Trump's derogatory remarks about Carroll during a CNN town hall, where he referred to her as a whack job making fake claims, factored into this determination. The trial to establish the damages Trump must pay is scheduled to take place in January. Dave Aronberg, the state attorney for Palm Beach County, Florida, told outlets that there is no limit to the number of times Carol can sue Trump for making defamatory statements.